but we've all just worked incredibly hard to make this room great. So both of you are going to stay down here till one of you decides who gets the privilege of living here. Everyone else, out. Thank you. Number one, I have no idea what you're talking about. And number two, you are on my side of the house. Okay, that was the line and you literally just crossed it. No, you crossed the line when you stole the ending of my book. So guess what? Things are about to get ugly. Bring it. I'm watching you. You are so wrong. Like you would ever like like one of your friends. Well, I think you do. So you better get over it for the sake of your personal safety and of those around you. For the record, don't crush on my friends. Uh, now go to Derek. Leave Lucy alone. Fine. Thank you. Right after you give me her phone number. Derek! <sighs> number one, Lucy is cultured and sensitive, not a Philistine. Who's Philistine? You, number two, don't date my friend. You've dated mine. Okay, forget about number two, but the number one reason is number three. You have a girlfriend. Okay, so th this shelf is a sort of metaphor. No, the shelf's a shelf. Uh-huh. Unless you mean that it symbolizes how Derek doesn't want to make space for us in his house. It is a metaphor. That's right, and you agreed to play these games of chance. I had to. It was either take a stand now or forever be treated like second-class interlopers who have no right to exist on Derek's turf. Wow. Wow. Uh, I didn't realize you're so competitive, Casey. Oh, I'm not at all. Oh. But Derek is so going down. Hmm. Walking away. <laughs> Enjoy. Double or nothing, I bet I can get that punk to talk to me. I'm sure you could eventually, which is why I'm not taking the bet. Whatever I'm to one bet and that's it. Well, now it's one more bet and that's it. Okay, Casey, there are rules to betting. You gotta know when to hold them, know when to fold them, know when to walk away, which is right now. Bye-bye. I'll bet I can get Punky Punkerson to ask me out by Friday. You really think he'd date a poly preppy pants like you? I'll bet you he would. What's the wager? If you win, I do your chores for a year. And if I win, you do mine. Oh, it's on. How could you let this happen? And why didn't you call? Well, things got a little out of hand. A little? There was a hockey game in the living room. Edwin and Lizzie went into hiding. I mean, this house is trashed. Well, Derek, despite my better judgment, I trusted you. You really let me down. Both of us. Wait, why do you assume it was all Derek's fault? Maybe I had something to do with the party. What? 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 You had something to do with this? Yes. Well, if you're both responsible, then you can both clean up this mess. Now. Casey. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. Yeah, I do. You really surprised me tonight. I can't believe that you bought my sob story. You're such a sucker. Careful, the ice water is really cold and refills are free. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. Now, could you please bring our waiter over? Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. I'm so sorry, it was an accident. Well, I hope that you didn't do it on purpose. Everything okay here? Oh, uh, sir, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Oh, and, uh, Riley, you're fired. Again. I'm fired? For what? For trying? For accidentally bumping into you? For being nervous on my first week of my first job? Well, you know what? I'm firing you. You can't fire me. I'm in charge, and you're... Hopeless. Can you believe her, D? Actually, A, I can. And I quit. Nobody talks to my stepsister like that, except me. 
Wait! You, you can't go! I know you quit, and I really appreciate it. How did you know? Because the owner called. He fired Andrew and said he wants you back. Said he'll even give you a raise. Really? Ha! Sweet! You're not gonna work there again. Even you have more integrity than that. No, I really don't. Well, then help me get my job back! Yeah, well, I don't feel great about it. I, I just wish our place was more organized, like yours. My place is organized? Yeah. Very cold. Is that Derek? I was just watching him swim. I, I mean, I wasn't staring or anything. Is that Emily? Can you tell her to, like, stop staring at me when I swim? Uh, hold on, Em. What? Well, I got something going on in the living room tonight, so stay out. You mean a girl? What if I had plans? So, what's with you and Derek eating lunch together? He was avoiding some Debbie. Her loss is my game. So after all I've told you, you still have a crush on Derek? Yep. So are we meeting? Saw you hanging out on the school stairs today. Is that a problem? Yeah, because sometimes I hang out on the stairs. So? So I just think it'd be best if we kept separate social circles. But on the bright side, we had a great time. <laughs> Good night, guys. Hockey? You've already got my everything. My chair, my tickets, my life. But you won't take my TV. Here. One more thing. It's still the remote from Derek. No, you do your own dirty work. I quit. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Hey! Mm. Not bad. Mayor's a bit soggy. She lived in the 1800s and wrote the most amazing poetry. In fact, her poetry is the reason the poet Robert Browning fell in love with her. <laughs> That's a little... <laughs> Problem, Casey? Uh. <gasps> Eat worms much? Only the gummy kind.